Orange and Cookie. Today I'm doing a video request. A re video request means somebody asks you a question and wants a re video response. Showing them how to do an item. For example, my friend Manland and my other friend Josh mm, James McIntosh asked me to make a video about the loop. What is the loop? Or what? Basically, they ask, how can you make your string stronger? Come over here, we'll show you something. And don't mind, don't mind Mr. Pickles. He's just watching us. They ask, how can you take a normal rope that you have? This is a bake line, but it's a, a low grade. You see how thin it is. And it's, don't, it's not protected with that stuff that you get with bake line. But you can make this stronger. How's that, Ranger Cookie? Come up some, I tell you. All right, it's called the loop, or the twist, or the twist loop, whatever you want to call it. But basically, you want to take your normal string. These are the three items you need. You need a pencil or a pen. I have a pen right now. I don't have a pencil. Pencil will be easier. A knife to cut your rope. And a spool of whatever rope you want to make stronger. So how can you make this string stronger? I'll show you. First, find you somewhere where you tie your rope up. So I found this little piece of string hanging right here, and I'm going to tie to it. You can tie to a doorknob, you can tie to a... Uh, all depends how far and how long you want to make this loop. Okay. That's all I did is tie it to the, to the uh, string. Now. How far or how big you want the rope to be? Let's say you want five feet. So that means you gotta go 10 feet with this rope. 10 feet, I'll show you why. Watch me, baby you boy. All right, 10 feet. All right, it's about 10 feet. And you go back to the loop you started with where you tied off. Watch me. Damn you, boy. All right, you take your rope, you cut your rope 10 feet in the loop. Now, here's your rope, that's 10 feet, then you cross it, then you bring it back into the where you tied it off at and tie it again on the same string you tied it off on. Basically, you need two pieces of string. One off the, the doorknob, then your string to your to the doorknob or to the string. So you won't, because when you twist it, it's going to be all twisted up at the end. But when you bring it back, you have room to do that. i show you what you need to do. Now stand right here and watch for what I'm going to do. All right, this is where your pen comes in, or your pencil. You take your end of the loop and put your pen through it and tighten it up as much as you can. Now, tighten this up. Make sure it's even and start twisting. This is work. This is going to take a few, a few minutes to do this. You keep doing this until it's really tight. The reason why I use a pencil because it's easy to take off. And you got a pen, you got all these little loop and make sure you never do what I'm just doing because you can, i show you how, how this thing works. See what I'm doing is doing that, you see? I'm gonna go on the side so you can see that. See what I'm doing is getting a little twisty. And basically, you gotta keep doing this until it twists all the way to the end. You'll start seeing it a little twisty in the end of the rope. And after a while, you just pull it and just go like this a few times to make sure it gets all the way twisted down to the end. And keep doing it. Let me see if I can 
bring you over here, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, see how it's all getting twisty now? And just keep doing this. And just go like this. Like a helicopter. Where you going? Watch me. Now see how it bunched up? And just go like that. Make sure it goes all through the rope. Keep doing this. This is the fun part. I also have a small video request for Wheels Going Wild. So I got three request videos. And I'm going to see if I can post them all together. Uh, and you'll see the little flaws that I had with the uh, system that I had for Wheels Going Wild. Here, let me move over here so I can work with this thing. So just keep on doing this until it gets really where you can barely do it. And I'll show you why. Now, if you got this more than five feet, you might need an assistant to fold it. Fold it? Yeah, you gotta fold it. What do you mean, Ranger Cookie? Well, I'll show you. Just keep doing that. Now, you don't wanna do it too much and never release the rope. When you do this, it, if, 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 it makes a mess. And you gotta take all them kinks out. So just make sure you don't kink it. Never kink it. Don't ever go down unless you're ready to tie it or loop it. Yeah, see, I'm making a, a knot little thing here. And now I'm just going to stretch it through. Now this is going to make it stronger. And I'm going to show you how it's going to be even stronger. Right now... If this was a 100 pound test line, now it's 200 pounds because I twisted the other rope. But now I'm going to make it to 400 pound test line. All right, it's getting really, really tight. It's getting where I want it. Take a look. I don't want to tighten it up too much, but you, you see the little See all the little loops in it? Now, right now, this is now 200 pound test. It was 100. Now I'm gonna make 400 pound test. Well, how's that? I'm sure you. Okay, now, if this rope was too long, where well, you can't go to the end, and I, you need to be right here to see this. Okay. If you don't have an assistance and it's too long, make sure you get assistance to help you because you need to bring this line to the end. Just like that and let go. Then you have to stretch and pull out all those little kinky things out and voila, pull your pen out, cut your line. That's, well, it's not, it's not five feet, but you get the point. Let's take a look at this rope. Now, now this rope is, four, and you want to tie a knot here. Make sure you tie a knot at the end. Just keep the rope from pulling, 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 pulling apart. And look at that. Now I got 400 pound test line. Now I made this rope stronger. Now. This is a request video for a James McIntosh. He says he want to use bait line as a uh, rope for his hammock. But you might need assistance and you might need to go about 20 feet. Because then now you got to fold it in half. Tie it in a knot again because you're going to make your, your loopy things for your hammock. You tie it in a knot. Then every feet you tie another knot. So, recommend for you, my friend, and my other friend, Mayland, get a 200 pound test line. Do the same thing, make it longer, because this is not that long. Because you got to fold it. That's called the loop. Another loop. 
That's the first loop. Then you do the little twist. I can make this even stronger, 800 pounds. But just doing it again. I just tie this to the door and twist. You can do it with this, because I mean, like this, because I got a small hand. I mean, it's a small piece. You get the drift. I can make it stronger by just doing this. Then, fold it in half and let go. And that's what just happened. Now, look at that. That's a 800 pound test uh, uh, bake line now. I'm just showing you now you can pull this apart because it's not really tight but if you really and if you really need a stronger rope that's how you do it you just put them loop it together and start twisting this small piece you can just do with your hand and just keep twisting it I'm just going to show you in a small scale because you can see all the details. And after you twist it, you can tie it to the door and twist it even more. The more twists you do, and more you pull it, make sure this is going to happen. It's like a yo-yo. See, and once I tie this there, this is not going nowhere. And voila, you just made 800 pound test line or bank line. All right, I hope you enjoy this short video of the request video. See if I just untie that knot, I can pull this apart again, unwind it, and I have my 20 feet rope back. So if you need another lot of rope, then if you, oh, before I go, it's another way you can make this rope stronger. I think this is called a dragon tail. I'm, I'm not sure. But you loop it. And you loop that. And you take it and loop it again. And you loop it. And you keep doing this little loop. Over. And over. And over. And over. And keep going until you run out of string. You might have to move your hands a few times. But you keep looping it. Now, at the end of this string, you just take your knot and throw it through, pull it tight, and you have almost a thousand pound test line, bait line, but it's smaller. And if you need more rope, I know a bunch of you guys know how to do this. It's just a little loop knot thing. And if you want more rope, just go like that, and you it's like a little magic knot, a little slip knot. There you go. I showed you two methods to make your rope stronger. You could do it with the normal rope and just do the little loops. That would make it stronger because you got little knots, weaving knots. And that makes it stronger. Just keep doing that. Now look at how much rope you got there a lot you got a lot of rope there to, to hang on then if you really think about it you could put on a hook to this type of rope because it's loose and you can put a hook in here it's like a magic trick i love magic tricks Okay, here, here, here's a magic trick with a little, a little, little, little knots. Three knots. I don't know if you can see all three here. I'm stay on the side. I have three knots. Gone. Like magic. All right, now I'm going to end my video. I, uh, this is, uh, I do request videos. If you have a question, how or what, or what can you do? I will do research for this video if I have to, or if it's already in the green. Oh, you're smarter than a ring ring. Bye bye, everybody. You first, you finally see ring ring. I guess he was camera shy with this channel, but he's on my other channel a lot. Bye.
Bye-bye. <laughs>